Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Today is Monday, March the 17th. And um, the video before this is my Horse by Nature haul. And people have been asking me how I do my braids out and my twist out. So, this is what I do. I get in the shower and I let my hair just get really wet and wet. But today what I did before I did that was I pre-pooed with Coils by Nature's uh, Replenishing Hair and Body Oil. Put it on the list down there for like 10 minutes. No cap, no heat, no nothing. Just sit on there. Then, um, I saturate my hair with water, sort of like finger detangle, and I make sure my hair is sopping, sopping wet. And then, for my scalp, I'm using selenium sulfide topical suspension, which my dermatologist um, prescribed. And I usually shampoo twice, but since I just washed my hair, I only did it once. And the only reason I shampoo so quick this time was because my scalp was really, really sore and tender. And yeah, so I did that. After I did that, I used this replenishing cleanser, which so far I'm liking this cleanser right here, caused by Nature Replenishing Cleanser, Eucalyptus and Lavender. It has a great lavender smell. And with your hair, after I rinse the sulfide topical suspension shampoo out, I just pump this into my hair. When it pumps, it pumps out into a foam. So I just pump it into my hair. And it, when it's in your hair, it is enough slip and it's soft enough for you to finger detangle work the knots out of your hair. So I did that. Um, twice. <clears throat> um, your hair will be very, 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 very clean. Not quite squeaky, but almost. Um, but it's not hard. So, I rinsed that out. I did that twice. Then I used this stimulating hair growth rinse. Where am I? Y'all know I ain't been on YouTube in a while, so. So, I put this on there. It's in the spray bottle. This is the apple cider vinegar stimulator rinse. So I spritz that on my hair, let it sit for about five minutes. So while I let that sit, plug, shameless plug, I <laughs> cleanse my face with uh, Mary Kay's 3-in-1 Time Wise Cleanser using my, so I use my cleanser and my Mary Kay brush. This brush runs you $50, regular price. So, and it's bent up because I had it tossed in the um, windowsill in the bathroom, in the shower. But I used that. Scrubbed my face. And then, rinsed my hair. And moved on. After that, <clears throat> I rinsed the apple cider vinegar out. I put the deep conditioner on there. Ultra Moisturizing Cocoa Aloe Deep Conditioner. Now, I put this on my hair straight. I have not combed or really detangled my hair other than my fingers. So, I put this on, rig it through wash the rest of my body and then I take my demon grab this front section of my hair tangle from the ends up put it in a braid and I do that all around my head so I have one two three four five six so I usually end up with six braids and after I do that it has set in my hair probably about four or five minutes and because I was when I wasn't worried about deep conditioning, I decided to, uh, then I just rinse it out. If I was deep conditioning, I'd put a cap on it and got out the shower. And then I just have to get back in and rinse it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, my hair is detangled. I rinse my hair out in these braids. After I do that, the technique is the same no matter what product I use. I wash it, detangle with the dimming. Um, sometimes if it's really knotty and matted, I start off with the wide tooth comb and then use the dimming. Uh, I know some people got y'all scared of the dimming, but you know, if you ain't crazy, I think you can work with the dimming without snatching all your hair out. <laughs> that might be offensive. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to try this again. Try to finish this video. So, I, um... If you hear the dryer, the dryer is blowing. It's steaming because I won't turn it back. <laughs> anyway, I'll open the door. Okay. So, <clears throat> technique is the same no matter what product I use. So now, usually when I do a twist out, I don't like gels in my braids. I don't braid outs or twist outs or twisting creams because they're 
you know, some products you can't lay your products on top of if you don't want to wash your hair. So I usually just use a leave-in and a butter. So take out the first braid. Boo, boo, boo. Take my leave-in. Rib it through. Make sure every strand is silky and saturated. Some people may say I'm heavy-handed, but I don't care because it works for my hair. Okay. So you rub it in. That whole section. Divide it in half. <clears throat> then I take my shea butter mix here. My shea butter mix. And um, I have no idea which mix this is because I change it every time I make it. But the two main ingredients that I use, well, the main ingredients I use is shea butter and mango butter. And I always use the ones from um, Butters and Bars because I don't like yellow shea butter. That's just my personal preference. Um, so I put the butter in. Take my dimming again. Take my dimming again. Detangle one more time. Depending on what you're going to do, you want to braid it and twist it. Um, if I was twisting, I'd make this into two different twists. I've had four twists, twists per braid. Per braid. So since I'm braiding it, I'm going to have two braids per, per braid. So I will end up with 12 braids. And then, like most people, when you get to the end, I take two, the two thinner pieces and twist them. Booyah! That's all I do. Um, sometimes people think you need to do a whole lot of extra stuff and, you know, like put a gel on it and the oil and do that. I, I may put a, depend on how it looks tomorrow, because this won't be dry in the morning when I go to work. So what I'll do is when I get up, I'll more than likely take some more of this hair, um, replenishing hair and body oil and put it on each braid, just rub it in each braid and throw it on the hat. Uh, go to work, get my day started, and sometimes during mid-morning, I go in the bathroom and take my hair down. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's braid. If you were doing, like I said before, if you were doing a twist out, technique could be the same. You know, just twist it all the way. Now I'm to the end, I'm going to twist it again. And then move to the next section. Section, Because I've been out the shower for a while, I've been running around getting my camera that has not charged. And I'm having problems with my memory card. Because it's been sitting in my computer for like, I'll tell you how many months. So, um, I'm going to finish up and I'll be back. Hey peoples, I'm gonna do this last one on camera for you. Maybe this one would be a better um take. I don't even know how to use the light on this camera. There's a light on it. I can't you know. So that's the last one on this side. The last one in my head that needs to be done. So I'm applying during some mono leave-in. And if you're a person that don't like using gels and you're worried about the hold in your hair, usually if you have like a really curly texture, if your hair dries in a twist out, you have a good hold for the day. Um, and possibly the next day. But I usually, if I want it stretched, a better hold. If I just want to keep a curl, I'll just twist it up at night. If I want an el elongated braid out of twist out, I either rebraid it. I'll, re I'll braid it the uh, following night. doesn't matter if it's a twist out or braid out. And then I'll go from there. Um, sometimes I'll go maybe two days without re retwisting or rebraiding. And what I'll do is, um, especially like this time of year, this winter, y'all know it's March, but it's winter here in Michigan. Uh, <laughs> if I get in, when I get in the shower at night, a hot shower 
when I get out the shower, I'll add an oil to it and re and braid it or twist it, or I add some shea butter to it and then braid it and twist it. And then, but if you're a person that don't like retwisting at night, and I don't like, like now I'm starting with 12, 13 actually, because I divided the top into three, so when I take it apart, it'll cover the thin part in the top, but. When I rebraid it at night, I'm not doing 13 twists or 12 twists. It's probably more like five or six or five or six braids. Um, and that's that. That's the beauty of having longer hair. If I, my hair was shorter, I'd have to add more twists to get the curly effect and get to look like I wanted to look. Now, if you can flat twist, you might have better success. But when I had shorter hair, I couldn't flat twist. Now I can flat twist lightly. So some of it will be curly and some of it won't. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, oh, another thing you can do is when you get done rinsing your hair in the braids, if it's going to be a minute before you can do something to it, like if I was doing a small, a small set of twists to wear, I would put the leave-in conditioner on the braids and just rub it in the braids. And that way, by the time I get set up where I want to sit and do them, they won't be dry. And then all I have to do is rub it in, maybe add a little more to it, or spray some water on it, and um, start twisting. But nine times out of ten, if you see me with a, twi with a twist out, it is with a butter. And if it's a butter, it's this one. Um, I use Coil by Nature Butter, but I, I really use it. I don't use it for a twist out anymore. <laughs> um, so I'm going to end this here and I'll probably post a short clip tomorrow probably during the day or the evening once I take it down and uh, we're going to see how much shine it has because this one product says it have it gives shine so um, the um, rinse so let's see how much shine because my hair was pretty today it was soft the only reason I washed my hair was because my scalp was in such disarray. I had sores in it before I washed it on Thursday. And those, um, they burst and started to heal. But you still have that infection-like smell. I don't know. People that have this hair issue know what I'm talking about. It's had this smell and my scalp was extremely tender. So I knew I needed to wash it again. That's why I'm using this. Um... But my hair was clean, but it looked dry. It looked dry. It didn't feel dry. It didn't feel crunchy. It wasn't hard. It just looked dry. And that was because I didn't do what I normally do to it because I knew I planned on washing it. Um, actually, I was supposed to wash my hair last night. <laughs> but I ended up chatting with a friend, and um, that turned like three hours. Uh, then I left her house. I came home and went to bed because I'm like, mm. So I'm rambling. Bye. <laughs>